Hey everybody, I hope your week is going well. We are continuing our video devotion series on the core values of Summit Church. That's right, the core. And so we are talking about right now the eight things that we see as a church is at our very core, the foundation of why we are, who we are, and why we do what we do. And so we've been talking about how Jesus is the center. We talked about how people are our passion we talked about how uh, community is our design. And then last week, we talked about how worship is our heart. This week, we are going to talk about number five, which is discipleship is our mandate. That's right. Discipleship is our mandate. We believe here at Summit Church that we have been called to go and make disciples. We get that out of Matthew uh, chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, where Jesus goes to his disciples and said, all authority has been given to me and therefore I want you to go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then to teach them uh, God's ways and his commandments and that he will never leave us uh, ever, ever, even to the end of the age. And so... Um, I think a lot of churches, uh, we focus on the country club aspect of everything. Uh, we just we focus on Sunday mornings, we come in, we do our thing. Wednesday evenings, we come in, we do our thing. Uh, we hear, great message, thank you, pastor, and then we go home. Uh, and, and maybe we apply it to our lives. But what we miss is, is that need for us to focus um, on those who are new to the faith, maybe growing in their faith, or maybe those who have been Christians for a very long time, but they have never grown past maybe a hurt or a situation in their life. And so we are mandated by Jesus himself to go and make disciples of all nations. Now, that doesn't mean that you have to travel across the pond to go make disciples. No, all nations really, uh, if you look at that translation, it's actually, it means ethnos or ethnic groups. And so, I mean, you could live here in Elkins, West Virginia and still be ministering to several different nationalities or nations or ethnic groups. And so, Really, it's just a mandate for us to value people and to value the love of Jesus Christ and the message that he brings of salvation and freedom and be able to teach them not only those very foundational facts, but to teach uh, his commands, that we obey his commands. You know, as you look at the, the Sermon on the Mount and how he kind of laid out this foundation on how we are to live our lives, you know, that we begin to teach people those things. And so here's my challenge. How do we make discipleship our mandate? As pastoral staff and as impact team leaders, you have been placed in a position of authority. You have been placed in a position of spiritual oversight over your area of ministry. And so my challenge to you is, is that find one, two, three, maybe four. Don't go crazy. Uh, even Jesus, even though he had you know multiple people that followed him on a regular basis, he had his 12 disciples. All right, and even inside of his 12 disciples, he had that three, that 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 group of three that he just really clicked with and just just really invested in. And so just find people that you serve around. Maybe maybe they're not in the same uh, impact team as you, but you have a relationship with them. Take this as an opportunity to have a, you know, a coffee with them, sit down, maybe even uh, start a Bible study, whatever it is that we are able to consciously disciple people. And when we disciple people, it takes an investment. It takes time. Sometimes it's frustrating. Um, sometimes we have no clue what we're doing, but that's why Jesus is here to help us. And uh, he gives us such a great example. And the, uh, the disciples, the apostles of the early church give us a great example of this and their letters and the letters that Paul wrote. And I just, I, you know, I think this is something that we miss. And discipleship truly is an investment. And sometimes you can't place, um, you really can't look at discipleship and sometimes tell that you're even winning. You know, you, like, how, how do I know that I'm doing a good job at this? And, uh, you know, Renee and I have been privileged to be the student ministers of this church uh, for, a, well, it was over eight years. Um, and there were days where I thought, are they really getting this? And then we've been blessed with the opportunity now to see these young teenagers growing up 
and following Christ in such a way that they're hearing his voice and they're following his leading because we invested, again, it's nothing special about us. It's just that God had placed us in a position to uh, teach them the word of God. And when we do that, when we begin to teach people the word of God, when we begin to build relationships with one another, uh, then we are able to understand those truths and we are able to understand, uh, you know, what God truly has for us and how to hear his voice. And then they began to listen to God's voice and obey his commands. And when they do that and they see the value in that, then they will absolutely change the world. And again, that goes back to our mission statement as a church, which is change lives that change the world. And so discipleship is our mandate. And so I challenge you, find those people who are just who, who are searching. They want more. They want to go deeper and begin to pull them into your life. Begin to do life with them and help them understand those truths. Help them understand who they are and their identity. Help them discover their pur purpose through the word of God. And so as we reach out and begin to do that as individuals in our areas of ministry, we will begin to see a generation of people raised up within our church that is going to go out and not only just impact the community around us, but also they're going to impact the world. And so that's how we see discipleship here at Summit Church. We see it as a mandate from God. And so I pray that you will take this and, and really consider it and begin to see how you can do this uh, in your area of ministry and in your life. And so again, discipleship is our mandate. And so you guys have a wonderful week. Again, we love you so much and we thank you so much for the passion that you have for God and the passion that you have to serve Summit Church and to see us reach people and to see their lives change so that they can change the world around them. Thank you guys so much. We love you. Have a wonderful week.